Yo, what is up guys, it's Uraku, and in this video I'll be showing you how to download and install Tweakbox on iOS and Android. Uh, you don't need to jailbreak, you don't need to root your device, it works on both iOS and Android the exact same way. I've tried it on multiple uh, devices and iOS versions, it all works the same. But yeah, so if you didn't already know, Tweakbox is an app, it's completely free, and it basically lets you... Um, install tweaks and all kinds of cool stuff. I uh, highly recommend you guys try it out. Um, yeah, you can like hack games and get modified versions of apps. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you guys already know about Tweakbox, but it's really cool. So, to install Tweakbox, it's really simple. And once you're on the site here, you're just going to tap on the icon of whatever OS you're using, Android or iOS. And it should bring you to this page where it shows you a couple of apps. Maybe it shows you more, uh, but you just need to download two of these apps because the tweak box gets injected into apps that are on the App Store. So that's how you get it on your device so quickly. So you're just going to tap on one of these apps. It's going to take you to the App Store or Play Store. And you're going to download it. So this is a normal functioning app from the App Store, but it got injected with half of the files of tweak box. So that's why you're downloading it. So I recommend you guys just wait here while it's downloading and you're going to hit open once it's done. And once it's open, you're just going to run it <clears throat> for 30 seconds to a minute just so the files can unpack onto your device. Um, you can go for a minute if you want to be safe, but usually 30 seconds will do. And yeah, you don't have to do anything particular. Just run the app for 30 seconds to a minute. And once you're done that, you're just going to go back to your browser and you're going to download a second app. So if it shows you more apps, you just have to do two. You don't have to do more. And it's going to automatically configure it. So you download it, and you run it for 30 seconds again, like before. So it's the exact same thing for both apps. Just make sure you don't download the same app again. And yeah, you do the same thing, run it for 30 seconds. And once you have both apps here installed on your device, and you ran them both for 30 seconds, all you have to do is power off your device, boot it back up, and the two apps should disappear. If they don't, you can delete them. You don't have to keep them. And what you're going to do is scroll to the very last page, and that's where you're going to find Tweakbox. And after that, you don't have to do anything. It's installed on your device, and you don't have to uh, do anything after that. Uh, the only case is if you delete Tweakbox, you'd have to do it again. But uh, I don't see why you guys would uh, delete it. But anyways, um, if you guys are having trouble doing it for some reason, maybe because you have slow Wi-Fi or something, just subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below what device you're using, and I'll get back to you, and I'll help you install Tweakbox, because it's usually a pretty simple fix. And yeah, if there's any other Tweak videos you want me to do, just let me know in the comments, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.